Hey guys, it's T7 Gaming today with another video. Today is just a quick setup for the giant. So if you're at spawn from here, you can go left. So you don't want to go to the right over there. You want to open up this door after you have enough money and then this door. And you have to make sure you only open these certain doors. You cannot open all the doors. Otherwise, this setup for beginners, which is what I'm showing you guys, is not going to work. So you can only open those three doors, and then you're going to go to the power from there. The power is right over here. So you turn on the power, and you're going to have to run all the way back to the start. So this is a little, like, kind of glitch where the zombies only spawn in one area. And I promised in my last video that I'd make this one, so... This is just a detailed video on how to do it without having uh, to worry about any other zombies coming from any other place than besides just one window. So that's kind of nice. If you're new at zombies or if you just want to chill while you're setting up for a high round attempt or something, uh, yeah, you just have to come over to the bridge to this area and... After you kill all the zombies, as long as you don't leave the room, they will only spawn in one window. So you just want to make sure that you don't leave the room. Because if you leave the room, they're going to start spawning outside. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. You end the round, and then it's all ready to go. The only problem with this glitch is they are kind of slow on early rounds. So you might not want to go into this glitch on early rounds because it's kind of boring but yeah all you have to do is open up those three doors turn on the power and you're already there so it's awesome it doesn't cost too much to get into it but the, there is one problem that I'll explain to you guys in a little bit but anyway as you can see after the round ended we're gonna stay in here and zombies will only spawn at this one window it's kinda nice to rack up some points so then you can get ready to set up now you might be asking yourself, why not just stay the whole game? Well, because you can't pack a bunch of beer in this spot, so that's the one problem with it. So it's only a good setup strategy. It's not really a full game strategy unless you intend on using a non-pack punch gun the entire game. So um, from here, you can see they only spawn at this window. It's really nice and convenient for early zombie players. Now, for dog rounds, when the, you hear the dogs come in, uh, pro tip, if you crouch, it's easy to get headshots, and they only spawn in three areas in this room. They only spawn in the two corners that you're seeing right now, in the corner to the right of my screen. They will not spawn in the other corners, so they only spawn in three areas in this room, if you're in this room. If you leave the room, they will start spawning elsewhere, and you'll have to deal with that. So that's kind of crappy, but... As long as you're in this room with both of the other doors closed, then they will only spawn in these three spots. You can pass dog rounds easy. So as you can see, it's really easy to get headshots here. All you do is aim at that lowest board, and you can get headshots pretty easy. So you can get a pretty good amount of points. Not as much as training, but it's a nice setup for people who don't really know how to train or you're new to zombies. Headshots for days. So as you can see, this is the spawn location that they come out of, and then they walk up to the window. Sometimes they will get stuck because they there's just so many of them spawning there, especially on high rounds, so you might have to throw a grenade or have an explosive weapon like he does right now because they do get stuck over there and they do get stuck right below the staircase to the left too so you just gotta watch out for that but anyway that's that's basically about it for this glitch so um there is one more thing uh, you can repair the windows as much as you want here and the higher round you get the more barriers you can repair so if you have one zombie left you can keep repairing the windows now this is one of the doors you can't open this is the other door you can't open. So you just gotta make sure to keep those closed. Uh, see, you can see the teleporter right on the other side through the window. 
and that's what you need to access in order to pack a bunch. So you can't do this glitch with pack punch weapons unless you use gobble gums to get a, a wall packed gun. So yeah, here's what I'm talking about with the repairing barriers. I can sit here and walk back and forth and repair all the barriers this zombie turns down and since it's already round 17, I can make points for a pretty good amount of time. I can probably make over a thousand points just from repairing these barriers. So it's pretty nice uh, just to get some free money and if you want to let your friend run around, you don't even have to train a zombie. He's going to get his perks and then I could go get mine. Anyway, if that's what you're here for, then... Uh, then that's what you're here for. So that's all for this video, unless you want to see the rest of the setup guide to see how to get the Annihilator, which is what we're doing right now, and then uh, how to get the extra perk on the map. So here's the Annihilator. As soon as you get your pack-punched weapon, you can get the Annihilator pistol by going over to this pole, and there's a tiny panel on it. You can barely see it, but if you shoot it, then it will activate the easter egg to get the annihilator pistol. As you can see, I shot it, and the teddy bears are going to form this circle and fly up into the air and go to three different locations. And it's nice because they're always the same, but they are different than the other older maps of Der Ries. So here's the first spot. It's going to be in this furnace, and I'm going to show you. It's going to be right there, but I'm going to aim to the left so you can see it. And you can see there's a little monkey in there. And that's going to be the first one. I don't know why they made that one a monkey instead of a bear, but that's the monkey. And then there's two bears you have to shoot too. One of them is very, very, very hard to see. It's very small. Uh, but I promise you it exists because you have to shoot it. <laughs> but anyway, here's the second location. It's going to be on this staircase uh, outside the a building. And it's going to be right to the left of the bar all the way on the right on the very top. So you just gotta shoot that, then you'll hear another audio quote telling you you hit it, and then you come over to the third location. Third location is a little difficult, but it's it's not that bad. All you have to do is jump a little, and you'll see it. Now it's gonna be right in between the two pipes on this left vat, toward the left side. So you can see as I'm jumping, you can barely see it. But you just gotta get your aim right and then shoot it. And you'll hear the audio quote if you hit it once again. So you could just spray and you're going to hit it. But after you hit that, that's the end. So you already have the Annihilator Pistol unlocked in the furnace right downstairs. And you can grab it and use it. Now it acts as a specialist weapon. So it recharges when you kill zombies uh, with other weapons. And you have a total of 18 shots with it until it runs out. Or if you put it away earlier, then it, it takes less time to recharge because you didn't use the full thing. Now, here's the easter egg to get the next one. I went ahead and did it right away. All you gotta do is throw the symbol monkeys into the teleporters and teleport with them. Now, you have to make sure that they're actually down before you teleport. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And then you'll see one of the three red lights on the right when you teleport are lit up. And you gotta do that to the other two teleporters, of course, too. So you go to the second teleporter, do the same exact thing. Teleport. And then you'll see that the second light is also lit up. And then you just got to do it to the third one as well. All right. Now, you want to think about this if you really want the sixth perk or not on the map. Because it's either stand them up or it is Deadshot Daiquiri. And, you know, you don't really want Deadshot Daiquiri uh, that much. It's not that good. But, um... If you do want to get it, just remember, you have to spend 4,500 points just to get it. So it's kind of stupid. And then you have to pay for the perk itself. So it's really not worth it. But here, you're going to see the red buttons flashing on the console. And you can it's going to shoot a laser beam off the sign into the snow pile over there to unlock the perk. So you just go up to it, hold X or square, and then you'll see the laser beam melt the snow. After it melts the snow, you can go right over and buy it. So that's the end of the Easter egg. And as of right now... There's no other easter eggs on the map. There's no main easter egg, and it's confirmed through coding that there isn't going to be any easter egg. So that's all you can do on this map. So that's how you'd set up for this game, and then you're all set to play for the rest. So just here's a little bit more footage, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.
Finally, fair payment for my troubles.